So, hi hello everyone, now we are going to talk about this video. Now, we are going to talk about Russia is one of the technical and economical and financial levels, one of the top most universities. This is called Synergy. You can see that this is Russian. So, actually, you can see that there are many people who are talking about engineering and technical education. And also, you can talk about medical. But, you can talk about economic and MBA. You can talk about the executive MBA. So, you can talk about the university. You can talk about economics. So, that is the university. So, it's easy to get admission. If you look at the university, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to talk to you in Russia. So, I'm going to talk to you in Russia. So, I'm going to talk to you in the easiest way to get admission in the university. So, what I'm going to do is, in the university, in the international department, I'm going to work with an executive. So, unfortunately, this video is full and full in English. So, I'm sorry for that. But, it will be going to be like a rumbo rumbo or fruitful ano or video or kung kadi sa rin the video parang ay ano ande like admission starting lin the fee structure, hostel and the scholarship programs. Yung lahat pati nang peso parang so guys, let's get into video. Hi guys, as I told you, today I'm going to interview Miss Anastasia from International Department and uh, today I prepared a lot of questions for her like about the university and the admission process, everything. So this video is going to be the entire uh, like kind of uh, full informative about this university and their courses. So let's welcome Miss Anastasia. Hello Anastasia. Yeah, hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how are you doing? How is I'm doing very good, how are you? Um, doing great so uh, i just would like to know about like could you please tell us like uh what is your position and uh what you are doing in uh Synergy university okay all right uh, i'm responsible for the preparation and for the student submission okay and i'm working here for more than five years already mm -hmm. so i can tell you like anything about the university about programs and suggest something as well okay that's really cool because uh, we are looking for the person like you who has like a wide range of knowledge about the admission because even i can't say like if i say people about the admission procedures but especially i can't go very specifically but uh, thank god i found you so it's gonna be really helpful for them uh, anastasia could you please tell us about uh, the university and uh, how does it relate to international people how many people are studying okay. so what are the courses that are provided for international people all right so actually synergy is the international university okay we have the several campuses in different countries mm -hmm. only in moscow we have around seven buildings Okay. Uh, there are students who study. We have the college, we have the university, we have the business school, mm -hmm. uh, we have the campus in United Arab Emirates as well in okay. Dubai. In Dubai. In the center of Dubai. That's because really cool. Usually, you know, usually the university is allocated in Norwich Village. Okay. Which are far away from Dubai. Okay. okay. And today, just in the city center. Okay. okay. So it's easy to access for yes. the people. Yes. It's near Dubai Marina. Okay, so also like for example, like if they were looking for a job, also it's gonna be really helpful for them in yes, the case. Yes, yeah, students officially can work, okay. and we have the career center to assist them. Mm -hmm. I'm not like uh, can tell you that we will give them the job. Okay. <laughs> yes, but we will assist them and we will help them. We have some uh, partner companies, and we know how to find a job, and we know which what is required to find a job in Russia and in Dubai. Of course, you're going to assist them to yeah. what to do in their future. That's really cool because in Russia it's very hard to find the person or the university or the people who are going to assist them because mostly people here they speak in Russian and uh, surprisingly like Synergy has their own English educational program. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, and uh, next I would like to ask you about like the courses. Mainly, that's the main important thing. Okay. Uh, what are the uh, courses that has been taught in uh, English languages okay. in, in Synergy? Especially uh, when we speak about the courses, mm -hmm. uh, it's Russian language, of course, mm -hmm. because uh, students who would like to study in Russia mm -hmm. and the students who would like to work in Russia and live in Russia, they must know Russian, you know that. They must know, of course yeah, I know so that. I have been told many videos like about that. But still, uh, some people, they just want to learn, like, uh, when it comes to business, anyhow, yeah. it's going to be international business, kind of. Course, yeah. So, anyhow, they're going to be English languages. 
So mostly people like uh, nowadays they think like they don't want to put one year in Russian language and I'm not going to be settled in Russia in the future. So in this case, uh, if they want to study in English languages, do you prefer there is some other courses in English like that? No, of course. So for the students who would like to study uh, together with Russian students, just the same programs and mm -hmm. have the access to like the same benefits, mm -hmm. so they can study Russian okay. language, mm -hmm. and after that apply to the bachelor or master degree in Russian. Okay. And those students who would like study only with international students mm -hmm. and study in English, we have the programs in English. In Russia, in Moscow, it's Bachelor of Entrepreneurship because we're number one of the best universities uh, for the business degree. Mm -hmm. We have even won the grant from the government. That's awesome. Yes, and our business school have been mentioned in the Guinness Record Book twice. That's Organized really cool. the biggest business events in the world. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. That's really cool. So students can study Bachelor of Business in English mm -hmm. in Moscow. Where the student can study in English in order to buy accounts. In Dubai, all the programs are taught in English. In English? Yeah. Okay. And we have the English language classes as well. Okay. So actually, you are saying that uh, if you are, if the student is going to study in English medium, they will study only with international people. Yeah. But if you want to mingle with Russians and uh, to get to know more about, uh, because uh, as I told you in many videos, like, uh, uh, in Russia, if you're gonna be in Russia, you have to know Russian to get to know about their technology or their, you know, their ideas of uh, the way of living, the way, their culture or the level of business, what they are doing. In this case, if you want to get to know about that, you have to know Russian language. Or otherwise, like I'm not gonna spend time in Russia. For some people, may think, I'm not gonna spend time in Russia. I, I'm not gonna live forever in Russia. In this case, you can study in English, but I would say it won't be like uh, the pure, we say here in Russia, like a Nastayasha, uh, it won't be like a Nastayasha Russian education kind of, so it will be like a um, kind of international thing, like uh, you come, you study and you go out of this, most of the medical students, they do this thing, uh, if they don't have a long vision or long term goal in Russia, they do these things, uh, of course, that's what she's saying, that if you want to uh, have the long term goal in Russia to achieve something, or actually Russia has like a quite a big uh, not quite big like i would say like russia has a great economist here because uh, recently uh, mostly people have seen that the um, uh, sanctions in russia but uh, it was they overcame they overcame that was really so cool so i'm 100 percent sure even i told people uh, in my one video i told them about uh, it's the best time to invest in rubles because anyhow yeah. it's gonna hype so and open the new companies in russia of course. So many new companies uh, are, have been opened in Moscow and uh -huh. in other Russian cities during that time. Yeah. And you know, Russian people like, did not even feel the sanctions. So even believe like it was before. <laughs> as, I was an, as I'm an international person, like yeah. international uh, person who is living in Russia, still I don't feel anything like a sanction, the price is high, I'm feeling so bad, without food, I never felt like that in Russia. So uh, of course, uh, Russia has the best economic system, I would say. And when it comes to economic stability, I would say the Middle East, so they have the best economic stability. And they do also have the, as you said, you have the university uh, in Middle East as well. So anyone who want to pursue their dreams in uh, Middle East, and if you have a plans to go, uh, at the moment you can utilize it. And uh, as, of, as far as you guys know that uh, the world out shanks and Russia, Maybe if you have a plan to go to Europe, uh, it's quite complicated to go with go from Russia. So you can use this way to go to Dubai, and from there you can, you know, pursue your dreams there. So we can come for our topic now because, like, I'm, yeah, this is what my problem is when I started to talk. I talk. <laughs> so okay, let's get that. Just like uh, one note for the students. Uh -huh. Yes, if you would like to study in Russia, education in Russian is much more cheaper than education in English. That's real. That's uh, that's a true. That's actually yeah. true. And of course, that I want to ask, like, uh, if uh, they are studying in Russian language, do they have any scholarship program? Because uh, I have came when I came to Russia, there was a program that if you study Russian language pro, it's like Padgudovit yeah. faculty. If you study that, you can get your bachelor's or master's for free in scholarship. Okay. Does it applicable in Synergy University? Yes, so we do not uh, offer just fully free education, but we have main scholarship for the students. Okay. And usually our scholarship are up to 50%. Okay. 
the 100 percent scholarship are applicable for the uh, students who have like won Olympic Games or who have the certificates from like world uh, events. Something very something, unique. Yes, something very unique. Okay. As the private university, yes, we can offer this kind of scholarships because uh, we not, do not have like funds from the government. Okay. Yes, okay. but we try to do the students' life very intensive and very interesting for the students, and we try to offer them like uh, new offers, new scholarships. Yeah, maybe like part payment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, for the students who do not have like. A, a of course, it's like a European thing. Like when it <laughs> yeah. comes to European university, also they do the same thing. Yeah. They will not fully fund, but they partially yeah. uh, give some grants for them for this or kind of. So, so the song will depend from the student. Okay, so the students have to have the good educational yeah. background and also like you have to pass the uh, foundation course. As I told you, like a Russian language course or uh, we say like preparatory course. Yeah. Uh, you can name it in any way, like a foundation course, preparatory course or particular with the faculty in Russian language, so whatever it is. So if you have the good marks in your bachelor's or in your master's, if you want to continue your further education. So uh, if you have this kind of documents, uh, you are eligible for getting this kind of grants. So uh, what, what is the period? Like, for example, like uh, when is the intake uh, for this university? Like uh, mostly in Russia, they take on September and in January. So what about in Synergy? Like, um, so Synergy is the same. So the main intake for the, all the Russian universities first of September, mm -hmm. and at first of September all the studies will be started. Okay. A bachelor degree, master degree, foundation will come. But of course we have some courses, mm -hmm. and we can start the intake in other dates. For example, in February uh, we have uh, started uh, the intake for the Russian language courses, short time, and it was so it was in March. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the short term program, we can start the intake any year, like okay, a, a, so any month. You, uh, the main course will be for 12 months, like uh, yeah. annual like educational one year, year, it will be like one year. So if it is a short term course, what is a short term course? For example, two months, three months, or six months, or how does it like... Uh, uh, usually it's up to three months. Three months. Yes, short term program. Uh, for the short term program, we have the Russian language, uh, we have the summer camp program. Mm -hmm. So the student who do not like to study here for a long time, but, but would like to see how beautiful the country is. Country yes. or to get to know about their, yeah. what they are doing in Russia. Yeah. So in this case, they can take this program yes. and... So okay. get uh, international experience, mm -hmm. uh, get uh, some of the international knowledges mm -hmm. from Russia. Okay. So we can invite them to visit Moscow. And usually we arrange like everything for them, like meals, accommodation, transportation, mm -hmm. pick up from the airport. Okay. So everything is like uh, come to under the package of the admission. So yes. once they pay for admission, they are done. You will take care of everything. Yeah. So Miss Anastasia, could you please tell me about the fee structure for the students, like uh, for bachelors or for masters? So what do you think? What is the fee structure? For you? Okay, so we have more than two hundred of the programs. It's Both. only in Moscow. Okay. So uh, the fee structure is different for each of the program. Okay. Uh, usually the de bachelor degree fee. Uh, will be started from one thousand eight hundred dollar dollars, okay. yeah, dollars, mm -hmm. and up to five thousand uh, dollars per year. Okay. It will depend from the program, from the form of study, from okay. the language of study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we can choose, but of course the prices are in rubles. Okay, so now you fully change your due to this yes, problem. Yes, it will depend from uh, like the dollar exchange rate as well. Okay, I understood. So you also told mentioned about the uh, short term programs. Yeah. So. What do you think? Do you have any idea about short-term program course fees look like that? So it will depend from the program course. Still again. Yes, yeah, still again. If we speak about summer camp program, mm -hmm. so usually it was like nine hundred dollars okay. for the for the students uh, for ten days. Okay, for ten days it's cost around like nine hundred dollars. Usually it's around one week. Okay. Plus mm -hmm. minus the date of arrival, the date of departure. Okay. So as we have discussed about the entire thing, like fee structure, everything. So I, uh, as a completion of the video, I want to ask you about like uh, internship for the students okay. because like uh, most of the universities, uh, for example, uh, as some Indian or some international countries, mostly they used to give their uh, internships. But in Russia, it's quite complicated to get the internship for the foreign students. Even when I was a foreign student, it was complicated for me. So I would like to ask you about that. 
is the system changed or it's still it's continuing in this universe? Not for us actually. Okay. <laughs> As I have mentioned, we have the working companies here. Okay. And our university has focused on the getting the practical skills, okay. not the theoretical ones. Okay. Because when you have finished your degree, you have to find a job, of course, of course. and to, to like get the money for your life. <laughs> and if you don't know what to do, you will not get a good job. That's true. And we help our students to get it. Uh, the, again, I'm sorry for asking yes. you the question again, but still I'm asking. Uh, Internship you, programs. For in international students, the main board is like for international, do you have the internship? That's what makes sense. Of course we have. Of course yes. So we even have the one year internship programs for the students. Okay. And the question is, will it be paid one ah, or not without, paid one? Okay, okay. Yes, and we have the companies for the paid one as well. Okay. Yes, exactly. So far that maybe uh, it, differ, it differs on the qualification of the students. Yes. If they have a good marks and good degree, so they can get into some paid internship kind yes. of. Yes, of course the companies are not interested in the students who can't work. I so it's if you are a hard working person and you can't work, of course they will accept you. But okay. if you are the lazy one, of course <laughs> not. Of course, <laughs> not, of course yes. not. Okay, so uh, the final thing. If there are a lot of internationals going to be come here. Anyhow, they need a hostel, accommodation. Yeah. So could you please tell about that your university hostel thing? Like, do okay. they have hostels? What would be the fee structure of the hostel kind of? Yes, we have two hostels of the university. Okay. But usually they are overcrowded because okay. we have more than uh, 10,000 students who study in wow. the university. Okay. <laughs> yes, so we have the partner hostels okay. and uh, hotels as well. So this, usually international students are living in hostels and hotels. Okay. And the fee structure for them are from $150 per month and up to $250 per month. It's around like 9,000 rubles yes. per month. Yes, 9,000 rubles and up to 15,000 rubles. It will depend from the room you will choose. For yeah. example, it will be a room for four person. For eight it's up to uh, <laughs> your specialization, like how you want your room, like one yeah. person, two person, or the utilities, yes. what you want. So it's up to you, like from 10,000 to it yeah. goes up to 15,000. Yeah, the location of the hostel, of course, as well. Yes, okay. as the university, we have some like discounts for okay. us and for the students. So okay. this is why for our students, the price is cheaper than it for other people. Okay. So, uh, the last question once again, okay. uh, so uh, as the foreign students, mostly people used to, no, mostly, uh, most of the question they ask me about is like the part-time job. Okay. When I'm in foreign country, like uh, if they do some part-time job, it may help them to, no, to support them okay. partially. So most of the question is related to that. So I want to keep that question to you as well. Uh, does, they are allowed to do the part-time job if they, uh, while they're studying in this energy university? Okay. So following you know, the last year, yes, uh, international students are officially allowed to work mm -hmm. up to 20 hours per week. Okay. If it will not affect on their studies, on their marks, and uh, on their like attendance, they can work. But 20 hours per week. Okay. Does university provide any official documents for the students that they can allow them to be work or what? So it not depends on the university. It's okay. the government rule. It's in government rule. Yes. So there is nothing needed to show that I'm yeah. working like oh, okay. yeah, previously they have had to get some special documents from Saharva. Uh -huh. Yes, but right now so they do not need it. If they do the part time job twenty hours per week. So they just like turn into the uh, letter from the university okay. and they study and the university are allowed them to like work and study and everything is alright mm -hmm. and they can work with that document. That's really cool. Yeah, so if actually, if it is more than twenty hours per week, of course they need these documents from Sakharova. <laughs> I understood, but who gonna ask them? <laughs> no, who gonna ask them? Like you are working on twenty or more than so. There is no one is gonna put the camera behind them. So that's what the question is. So some of uh, the person can ask, and all the details are officially in the system of Russia. Okay. So this is why the students have to be careful with it. Okay, but and not violate the rules. Okay, if they are working for 20 hours, they will be officially signed the contract and they will get paid in the bank, right? So it will right. be fully officially. Official yeah, yeah, they, they can do, so it will depend from the work they will do, of course. Uh, for example, if you are the freelancer and you work on the online, okay. so you can work like more than 20 hours per week. 
But of course, it, they have a lot of activity studies. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yes, but if you are officially working in the company, yeah. 20 hours per week. That's cool. It's kind of internship or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I understood. So guys, uh, as I told you, we have discussed all the information about the university, admission procedure, protocols, everything. So I would really thank uh, Ms. Anastasia for that, for spending the her quality time with us, for our students who want to pursue their dreams in the uh, Russia. So I really thank you, Anastasia. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. So guys, in this video, we have a lot of information about admission. So guys, if you want to learn about MBA or economics, or you want to learn about IT profession, and you want to learn about IT, and even artists like us, we have a drawing. So that's why we have a course. So if you want to learn about what you want to learn about, you can go to my YouTube channel and put a link in my YouTube description. You can send me a message on Instagram. I am close to you. So, adik mari orang lor da mata database segala macam anda, nih anda once Instagram mail pan nengah, ini adalah anda rambo common, semua orang boleh mudi ada. So, anyone who needs, nih anda nak message pan lah Instagram lah. So, orang orang lekuk anda, nih university orang data details segala macam tera. So, nih anda anda further orang contact pan itu, you can start your admission. So, adik mari pati nih admission process anda already start aja aje. For September batch anda already start pan tengah. So, anyone who needs to come to Russia, this is a perfect time for you. You can use it up. So, guys, in the video orang orang lekuk rambo helpful orang orang nengah. In the video yang Kerana kerumba helpful lagi nanti kerumba, semua orang share panengga. Unggul kurcinc nama mara kama like panengga. Rusia apa ti? Unggul keberita teriun nasib patingna. Mara kama yang YouTube channel subscribe panengga. Unggul semua orang next nalar video lassan dekiran. Until then, bye bye from Avi.